Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kevin and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this simple shelf using only 2x4s. So stick around and let's get into this build. Okay, so I'm going to get started by cutting my 2x4s to roughly about 4 feet. I'm actually going to go a little bit longer, maybe by about half an inch, just to make sure I have a little bit of wiggle room. Then I'm going to take it to my jointer just to get a nice flat surface on one of the sides. Once I've made a couple passes and I'm sure that my bottom is nice and straight, I take it over to the planer uh, and make sure I make the opposite side nice and flat as well. Now I do realize that not a lot of people have a jointer and a planer, but you can go to your Lowe's or your Home Depot and sift through the piles of lumber. Find yourself the straightest 2x4s that you can find and then at the table saw, You'll want to cut out the rounded edges and uh, that way you have some nice and flat surfaces that uh, you'll be able to glue. Once I had three flat and squared edges, I took it over to the table saw and cut the final side. And now it's time for the glue up. Make sure you have all of your supplies ready. Get your glue, your calls, your clamps, everything you need for the glue up. Uh, in my case, uh, I only needed three pieces of 2x4s. Uh, I knew I wanted my total width to be about 10 inches. So three and a half inches per 2x4 times three and then minus the material that I milled off. That gives me roughly about 10 inches. Now the calls that I'm using are basically scrap plywood wrapped in packing tape and that is so that the squeeze out, the glue, uh, doesn't stick to the calls and I'm able to remove them after the glue has dried. But basically the calls are what help align the 2x4s and it helps the top stay nice and flat. Now I usually let the glue dry overnight before I start removing all the clamps. And like I said, the calls come off very easily with that packing tape. If for some reason they don't, you could use a rubber mallet and just kind of tap them off. And that usually works pretty well. When it comes to removing the squeeze out, uh, some people like using a wet rag and removing the, the squeeze out before it dries. I let it dry and I use this scraper to knock off all the uh, squeeze out. So you can see here, all the beads just come off very easily. Now this step is completely optional, but what I did is I used some Starbond CA glue to fill in all the knots and all the cracks. Again, this step is not necessary, but I had some extra CA glue, so I decided to fill in all the cracks and uh, make a good use out of it. And what I love about this CA glue is that it dries super fast, so you could apply it and then sand it down very quickly. Then I took it to the table saw and used my cross cut sled to cut my shelf to final length. Again, my final length is 4 feet. You can also use a straight edge and a circular saw to cut your shelf to final length. Before applying any stain, if you're using 2x4s or any porous material like pine, make sure you use pre-stain. If you don't use pre-stain, you, you run the risk of getting blotches in your stain once you apply it. So just make sure you put a liberal coat of pre-stain, let it dry, maybe 5-15 minutes, and then start applying your, your stain. I decided to go with a cognac stain by Varathane. 
This was a stain that I've used before and I used it on the desk that I made uh, about a year back and so I wanted my shelf to match my desk. This stain came on really thick so I just let it dry for about 2-3 minutes and then I wiped it off pretty quick. So this is what my desk started to look like. It basically became a catch-all desk for just everything. I know a lot of this stuff I'm never gonna use again, so I'm either gonna box it or basically just throw it away. Now we're ready for installation. The set of brackets that I got comes in a set of four, but I'm only gonna use three. I think three is more than enough to support this shelf and anything that I'm gonna put on top of it or anything that I'm gonna store on the shelf. I got pretty lucky and found some studs, at least two studs that I was able to uh, use. And where there weren't any studs, I basically used some heavy duty anchors and that'll help support this shelf. These are rated for about 50 pounds, um, but again, I did find a couple studs, so that should be plenty strong. Once the brackets were installed, I went ahead and placed the shelf on the brackets and it was a little bit lopsided, so I used one hand to sort of hold it down while I used my other hand to screw in a couple of the, uh, of the screws. Once I had a couple of the screws screwed in, then I went ahead and installed the rest. And this is what the shelf looks like installed. I really hope you like this simple shelf build. Um, if you can, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. But that's it for this one, guys. I hope I was able to inspire some creative ways for you to make your own shelf. So with that being said, get in the shop, start making, and I will see you on the next one.